we're going to take a look at how to operate a conductor grip. Um, they're just spring loaded. You know, by putting your finger on the top up here and pushing out, it opens the jaws up. You can lock the jaws by tilting it like this. The nice thing about that is then with one hand you can bring it up, give it a twist back, and it'll unlock and you can push it out. A lot of times though, if you've got two hands available, you'll just put your fingers on the top, bring it up, snap it on. Now, the conductor grip is designed to push one direction and pull the other. So it slides out, I can pull it tight. So we want to get out as far as we can when we're sagging wire so we have more motion of the, the hoist. So we want to slide it out as far as we can. Reach out with your opposite hand, hold the wire, lean into it, and slide out to get it out there. Now as you pull this up, it would get closer to you. Sometimes, you know, when you go to take these off, to remove it, all you have to do, um, you can put your hand on the top and go the exact opposite, open the jaws, and it comes off. You can take it with one hand, tilt it so gravity helps you, give it a quick snap and they'll pop right off the line like that. So again, if you can let gravity help you, tilt it and it'll pop right off the line. If that doesn't work, well, of course you can always reach back, put your fingers on this end and pull it back towards you by putting your fingers on the top up here and pull it back towards you, open it up and take it off. Now often, people will get out here and it's too far out for them to reach. So, I hate to teach this, but because I don't want you to not reach and get your work, but if it ends up so far away you just can't get to it, you're leaning as far as you can and you can't get to it, take your hammer out, reach out and grab the tip with the hammer, and pull it back to you. But try to reach out there first before you do that. All right.